Okay. Is your family well to do? Like you guys are considered pretty affluent or um well, we're okay now. Where's your brother at? Put your brother yeah, up here. Get your brother. Come here, man. He's a little older, man. He's 20 he years old. He's experienced Yeah, racism. man. I know he has some, man. <laughs> yeah. How, how old are you, bro? I'm 28. 28. Okay. Yeah. And what's your name? Um, Ayanda. How you say it? Ayanda. Ayanda. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I like that name. It's a beautiful name. What does it mean? What does it, mean? Uh, it means increasing. I'm the second born at home. Um, second boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, my dad is basically saying that the family is increasing now. Okay. Yeah. What, what what does your dad do for a living? He's a HR manager in a hospital. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. But he didn't start out as okay. an HR manager. So, so how did he start off? Um, he was uh, working security, uh-huh. and um, obviously he liked studying. So he started studying. Um, eventually, he worked up the ranks at work. He frowned then, on it. Yeah, did eventually. He, did, yeah, yeah, he wasn't very too keen. He, 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 yeah. he wasn't embracing this rap thing, right? Yeah, yeah. No, he didn't like this. How how did you turn him around? Was it through your success? He started seeing your videos. He started seeing money, and he was like, "Okay, this is working." <laughs> <laughs> more rap, more rap, son. Rap, right? You never experienced racism either. Nah, I did plenty of times. Like what? Give me an example. Um, it's um working at a mall. Mm-hmm. Um, for some reason, um, the other race where I come from, they'll tend to to either smile. You don't even know why they're smiling at you. Um, also, at schools, uh-huh. um, if you had white friends, your your the your peers, uh-huh. guys your age, they're usually cool, very cool with you. Uh-huh. But then when they go to their families and you need to visit them for a birthday party or something, yeah, you kind of feel it there. It's not it's not in your face kind of racism. It's no. very subtle. It's kind of like yeah. here, uh, but it's becoming more in, in yeah. your face. So it might be a generational thing. You being yeah. twenty eight. Him being twenty, yeah. you know, maybe it's oblivious to him. He doesn't. I had see. a white friend that used to walk me home from school, and then walk back home every day. At like yeah. grade five. Yeah. yeah. So y'all, y'all, don't, yeah. Wait till you get broke. House, yeah. Yeah. Did you go in his house though? Yeah, I've been. To and, and the parents then put a broom in your hand or nothing like that? Wow. No. no. Okay. So why are you trying to make this man has live in a utopian <laughs> society? Why are you trying to put put our American nonsense over? He's he's having fun. Let him do his thing. He he's living life. Hey know, man, I'm inquiring it. about the way he grew up to see what are the parallels and the lack thereof between his society and ours. To show that there are similarities, and in some cases there aren't. Yeah. There are 18, 19, 20 year olds in America who will say the same thing he said. I've never experienced racism of any kind. I find it fascinating from how I grew up, yeah. so I want to explore it and see how does that work. Right. Little Wayne said Little he Wayne never said that. Yeah. It. So, yeah. That's your guy. You know, so that's why I'm asking his brother. I find it fascinating. Yeah. I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, I think it's great yeah. if you could live a life without experience racism. Yeah. I don't want to experience it. <laughs> right. 